everyone here today on behalf of the Berea and Richmond Chamber of Commerce. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2024 State of the County Address. At this time, I'd like to welcome Brian Combs to the podium, please, to lead our invocation. Join me, if you will, in prayer. Father, we thank you, God, for this day that you've given us. Lord, we're thankful, Lord, for your mercy and your grace and your goodness, Lord, to us. Father, we thank you, Lord, that uh, we live in this county, God, and God, you have blessed us so much. God, you have given us a good county. We are pleased to have many local leaders here with us today, including representatives from the City of Richmond, City of Berea, Madison County Fiscal Court, Madison County Schools, Office of Congressman Andy Barr, Office of Leader Mitch McConnell, State Representative Deanna Fraser Gordon, and Senator Jared Carpenter. If you are an elected official or state representative, please raise your hand. So we thank you for your service throughout our communities. And finally, if you are a Berea or Richmond Chamber of Commerce board member, please raise your hand at this time along with our amazing ambassadors. We are so grateful for you. You make events like this possible. Thank you for supporting us throughout the entire year. At this time, I have the esteemed honor and pleasure of welcoming our keynote speaker, Madison County Judge Executive Reagan Taylor. Oh, that's, it? that's it? That's it? Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Reagan Taylor has served as Judge Executive of Madison County since 2015. A lifelong Madison County and Judge Taylor started his career as an entrepreneur with his own construction and real estate company and shifted to a career in public service later. In 2022, he won his third bid for a judge with a, conti with a continuous commitment to build a better Madison County. During his time in office, Reagan has been instrumental in shepherding various projects to completion, including road and bridge projects, like the Exit 95 Corridor Exchange, modernizing the interaction between county government and citizens through technology, and addressing community drug addiction, including suing major pharmaceutical companies for the damage inflicted upon Madison County. 
In addition, his work with both the state and federal delegations ensured Madison County stays at the forefront of legislators' mind. Reagan has created a focus on planning for a post CSET Madison County throughout strategic planning and a collaboration with all stakeholders. However, some of his biz biggest recent accomplishments include the development of a plan for countywide broadband. This countywide broadband deployment in 2023 and securing the state funding for a completely state funded courthouse renovation project, historic investments in road and bridges, as well as leveraging CSEP funds for long term use in Madison counties are just a few of the projects that Reagan has succeeded in. In 2017, Reagan was nominated by his peers to serve on the Kentucky Associ Association of Counties of Board of Directors, which culminated to being nominated as the 2020 president of CACO. He has served on the Executive Committee of CACO from 2017 to 2023 and uses his position to advocate for Madison County through our legislators. Reagan resides in Madison County with his wife, Kelly, and their two daughters, Catherine and Natalie. Having felt called to serve in public office, Judge Taylor is committed to doing everything he can to build a better Madison County. Ladies and gentlemen, County Judge Executive Reagan Taylor. It's bad when the introduction is longer than your speech is going to be. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen. Appreciate you a lot. Good afternoon, everyone. As always, I'm thrilled to be here. I often think about how hard some days are and how critical we have become as a society, but not today. Being here with a group of community leaders who care, invest their time and energy and focus on how to make our community better every day. It truly makes my heart smile. Serving you is a privilege and an honor that I do not take lightly. Today, my greatest responsibility is to ensure that Madison County remains a community where potential and promise come together. For the nearly 100,000 people who call Madison County home, we must keep the doorway to opportunity open. So much of what we have achieved together would not have been possible without many of the people in this room. To those of you who've taken the time out of your busy schedules to be here today, I want you to know that I see you, I was you, and I'm working for you. Whether you were born here or moved here, whether you work for a business or you've built your own business here, thank you for making Madison County a community in which we can all be proud. I'd like to thank Colleen and Danielle, our five-star Chamber of Commerce directors. Thank you for your partnership and for making this event possible. I'd also like to recognize my partners in public service and our other elected officials at the local and state and federal levels. You all play an essential role in the growth and the success of our county and I'm thankful for your willingness to work alongside me as we continue putting citizens first. More than any other, though, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to our nearly 200 county employees. Your dedication and hard work have been the driving force behind our success. To my family, whose unwavering love and support make it possible for me to be here. I could not serve without your love and encouragement. I love you. Folks, nine years ago, I made a bold proclamation of intent at the state of the county. I made a promise to every resident under my leadership we would be a Madison County focused on economic and community development, cost savings, and to make county government more transparent and accountable to the citizens. A vision rooted in the belief that real and lasting prosperity must be built by all and shared by all. All around our county, you can see the extraordinary progress, smart growth, and economic opportunity we have built together. By almost every measure, resident safety, financial strength, and quality of life, the state of our county is strong. Madison County is thriving. Madison County is financially strong. 
We have balanced our budget year after year with sufficient financial reserves, made historic investments in our infrastructure, and maintained the services important to our citizens. We've done all this while lowering your property tax rate. In the last year, we've invested historic amounts in projects and partnerships that improve the quality of life and will truly make generational differences. These intentional investments have made Madison County a desirable destination for our families, small businesses, and companies. This includes projects like our Will Green Lake Improvement Project, broadband expansion, 800 megahertz radio and wet fiber project for first responders communication, a new emergency storage building, and another overhaul to our website. In the spring, we'll officially open the renovated courthouse as a circuit court judicial center. And yes, I promise, it will be painted white. <laughs> we were hoping for the end of the year, but we faced some supply chain delays. And this is our first renovation to our beloved courthouse since the 1960s. And the best part of it, it's 100% funded by the state. I can't help but talk about some of these projects that we are super proud of, but we are going to spend most of our time talking about what you asked for. Number one was roads and infrastructure. Number two was economic development. We appreciate everyone who took the time to share your thoughts about what you wanted to hear about today. These two topics were overwhelmingly the lead suggestions. So let's get started with roads and infrastructure. Since July, we've already completed 147 road work orders, and that doesn't even count from the, the, the work orders from this past Friday. For fiscal year 2024, we completed 670 road work orders and some major projects, including the, Dole, the Dolesville Bridge replacement, Herndon Lane visibility and safety project, Airport Road safety project, Will Green Lake improvement project, to name a few. As we look to the future, we are in the process of investing record dollars and using ARPA funds to resurface the worst county roads, which is more than 32 miles of roadway. In addition, the State Road Department is working on several significant road projects, including Aviation Way. This will provide better access to our Central Kentucky Regional Airport and open additional economic development opportunities in the area. At the county level, we are continuing to advocate with our legislature for state road projects to improve high traffic areas, access to corridors and highly congested areas in both Richmond and Berea. We will always support our city colleagues in these improvements. Our infrastructure improvements are critical for our citizens, but also for our growth and development. We are focused on creating jobs and occupational tax revenue for our county. Again, we can't make it financially or continue investments on residential rooftops alone. Infrastructure is about more than just roads, even though that is often the most important to citizens. We have focused on allocating a large portion of our funds from ARPA to infrastructure projects because it will make a generational impact. We are doing this by expanding broadband services to everyone in Madison County. More than 6,000 people now have access to broadband from phase one and two alone. This project is massive. It unfortunately can't happen overnight as much as we all would love it to. We're gonna be completing critical water and sewer infrastructure with our utility partners to expand access, investing in our roadways, and completing the design and pre-construction of a new animal shelter. Sorry, magistrates, this is a little sneak peek and they haven't even seen this yet. <laughs> Madison County is indeed a benchmark county. As we continue to grow as one of our state's most dynamic and diverse populations, one thing remains constant. We are a county where people and business can live genuinely 
grow with intent. We are a community where opportunity thrives. For the people and businesses who have put their faith in Madison County and believe in the promise it has always offered, our job is to make it a, just a bit easier to redeem that promise. Answering how we can progress is a constant commitment to listening, learning, collaborating, and taking action with caution when called for and with boldness when needed. This is reflected in our strategic initiatives. We remain focused on people first and making decisions for the betterment of all of Madison County. We have an obligation to Madison County's growth. We must embrace it, shape it, and recognize that it requires us to act. We are showing the world that our growth is not a moment, but a movement. Madison County is a great place for business, but it must also be a great place for people. We can and will marry commerce with compassion. Putting people first is not just a priority, but a moral imperative. My friend and colleague, Mayor Fraley, often uses the quote, a rising tide lifts all boats, and I couldn't agree with him more. Our community and economic agenda has always centered on giving people the tools they need to build strong communities. But this doesn't mean we tell others what to do with their land or business. We're making once in generation investments in our future. Madison County decided to start dipping our toes in economic development business after many of years of sitting on the sidelines and watching other communities create new jobs. More than a year ago, we started discussions about what it looks like to not only think like a region, but also act like one. I've said this many times, and now I'm going to say it to a group of business leaders who understand business, return on investment, and strategy. What if we'd have thought bigger and regionally in the 1980s before Toyota opened their doors in Scott County? What if Madison County, Richmond, and Berea could have benefited from the hundreds of people who make that commute every day? What if we could have received just a little piece of the revenue generated by Toyota annually? What if our community leaders had a thought regionally back then? I'll tell you, Madison County would look a lot different and the revenues coming to our community would look a lot different. As a businessman first, I've always calculated every decision based on my return on investment. I think the same way with Madison County taxpayer money. How can we use the county assets with low risk and generate returns for our citizens? While I'll be the first to admit change can be hard, but regionalism, but we need regionalism. And it has many benefits. Perhaps the most important is learning to complement one another instead of competing with one another. It was Helen Keller who said, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. Regions are the driving force of today's global economy because talent, capital, and markets care little about jurisdictional borders. Our region competes not only with areas in the Southeast, but also with areas across the country and around the world. Regional economies that lead to competition are the ones that utilize the cooperative and collective strategy to leverage local assets and address regional challenges. It's okay to be hesitant to act, but with regionalism, we will all win. The people we serve don't know where county lines and city boundaries start and stop. Trust us, we answer those questions daily. Our commitment to economic development is not, nor should it be exclusive to regional projects though. We are also working on investing in local economic development initiatives in the unincorporated areas of the county. We know there are benefits to having a diverse portfolio. We are being very aggressive in this area for many reasons. I made a promise that we would make this an area of focus and we are. 
but we are also at the end of a 30-year project to eliminate chemical weapons from the Blue Gas Army Depot, a program that has brought millions of dollars in funding to our county, but also has averaged well over 1,000 jobs and 1.2 million in occupational tax revenue to our county annually. We must focus on replacing those jobs in the county. We have been working with Senator McConnell and Congressman Barr and their staff, as well as depot leadership to bring new production to the depot's portfolio. And we are very excited about what is to come inside the fence. In addition, we are working on several economic development opportunities outside the fence. We will continue to keep our county on a strong financial footing. While too many communities across America grapple with the erosion that comes from the division of politics or socioeconomic differences or other self-serving ideologies, we are committed to bring Madison County together so that every person is empowered to contribute and share in the prosperity our county has to offer. Folks, together we will continue to move Madison County forward. That is how we will ensure we are a community where opportunity thrives. Over the next few years, our county's population will be more than 100,000. We are not a small town anymore. The people of Madison County and many in this room have voiced their support to plan for the future. We're making once in a lifetime investments in our roads and bridges, connecting people and communities creates economic mobility. Because we know that better access to infrastructure gives people more opportunities to be employed in well-paying jobs. And behind those jobs is a full refrigerator, a paid mortgage, a child who can dream of college. While we enjoy cutting ribbons of opportunity our goal is also to advance projects and start new ones that will keep our county on, a, on the right course for decades to come. If this were all the list of things that we have achieved, one might say this is a pretty good list, but I have never rest, rested in comfort or complacency. While we have achieved much together, I know we have much more work to do to become a place where opportunity is abundant and within reach for every person in business who calls Madison County home. Because we understand that Madison County is at its best when it is a place for everyone. Where what's achieved is achieved together. I've heard from small business owners like Ashley Hatton, who has done amazing things at Newbie Country Store and continues to invest in our community. And my friend Ashley Renton at Four Paws Unleashed, who has stepped up and helped us majorly at our animal shelter recently. I've heard from large organizations like Baptist Health Richmond, who is thriving. And yes, Laura, I found a way to work a Thrive Center reference in intentionally. <laughs> As a county dedicated to nurturing opportunity, we will continue to work hard to keep these responsibilities not only in our minds, but to make sure that they have a handprint in our hearts. It's encouraging to pause for a moment and think about the progress we have made together. We saw our first county Plan use development opened this fall at Legacy Lake on exit 95. For the first time in Madison County history, we could be on the Bourbon Trail with not one but two distilleries making significant investment here and bringing more jobs and visitors to our county. And throughout our county, we continue to see smart growth and development in our urban corridor to invest in our future. Every day I think about how we are building this county for my daughters, for your children, and for the next generation. Franklin Roosevelt said, we cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for our future. In Madison County, investing in our youth cannot be just an act of generosity. 
It must be a strategic decision to shape the future of our county. A deliberate action to assure that opportunity grows here. Opportunity is at the heart of what makes Madison County so special. It is what has created the diversity we see across our county. The promise of opportunity is what propels entrepreneurs to choose Madison County to open their small businesses. It's what drives companies to relocate here and become industry leaders. It's what encourages people to move here and raise their families. It's what makes all people feel welcome and at home here. Regardless of popular opinion, we don't have any billboards up around the country. We are not advertising Madison County as a great place to live on TikTok or Pandora or Spotify. And yes, Jared, I know what those things are. <laughs> People are finding us because Madison County is special. It's something to be proud of. It's why I'm proud to call Madison County my home. People always tell me they're not sure how to do, how I do what I do. And while many days it is very hard, it's rewarding because of the joy it brings me when I show up for each and every one of you. We've got plenty to do, but Madison County, we, are, we overcome our challenges and create change by extending grace, finding common ground and working together I've always heard the best way to predict the future is to create it. Sometimes opportunity isn't obvious. It's developed, it's pursued, it's nurtured. It's the decisions we make every single day to keep the doors of opportunity open for everyone. To ensure the pathways to prosperity remain accessible to all who call Madison County home. We are the place of the future. We have the courage to see it. We have done the work to be it. Our charge today is to push farther, climb higher, and extend grace. I always like to end my state of the county with a challenge, and it has definitely varied over the years, but when you are among a group of community leaders, you know, and I know, that you all are up for the challenge. As we continue to lead, let's lead together. Someone shared with me recently that smart people don't engage in ignorance. And I ask you to remember that. If you don't know, ask. Tell the truth. Don't participate in fake news. Don't participate, please. Don't participate in social media warfare. If you can't say it to someone's face, you probably shouldn't say it at all. Let's find ways to build people up rather than tearing them down. This world we live in is often dark. Let's be the kind of leaders that make it brighter each and every day. And as always, let's keep building a better Madison County together. I love you, thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. One more time, a round of applause for County Judge Executive Reagan Taylor. Thank you very much, Judge Taylor. At this time, I have the honor and pleasure of bringing someone special from our chamber community, the Executive Director of the Berea Chamber of Commerce. If you have not yet had a chance to meet her, I'd love to introduce her to you, Danielle Valentour. Thank you all. Um, 
this community has been um, not my home that I've grown up in, um, but this has become such a wonderful community for me to be in and be a leader in. And I appreciate everybody um, that has just given me such a warm welcome in this community. I appreciate it, Colleen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. Again, if you have not had the chance to meet Danielle, I encourage you to reach out to her. I know that her door is always open. She jumped into the Berea chamber with arms wide open and very quickly was able to execute the Berea Spoon Bread Festival, one of the wonderful events that we have here in Madison County, a longstanding tradition. So please, let's give her a round of applause for that fantastic job. Friends, we want to thank you so much for joining us once again for one of our Business at Noon series luncheons. It is always amazing to be able to be in the presence of incredible business owners, leaders, our nonprofit organizations, so many folks that give so much of your time every single day. I'm humbled when we're able to come together like this because I truly believe that Madison County is a gift to the state of Kentucky, and likewise, that we are a gift that we can continue to give to others. So friends, I hope you leave today encouraged. I hope you know how supported you are, and I hope you know that if there is anything that we can do for you at the Richmond Chamber of Commerce together, we are here to make it happen. As Judge Taylor said, we are building a better Madison County together. I firmly believe that with all my heart. I thank you all so much. I thank our board of directors, our ambassadors, those who have been leading the way for many, many years. And of course, my team with Elizabeth and Haley, y'all are incredible. So thank you all for much, very much for being here. Please enjoy the rest of your day.